what the Hornet is most famous for is for launching the Doolittle strike against Japan in April of 1942, which was the first U.S. attempt to strike back at the Japanese after Pearl Harbor. We had to sink her ourselves. Uh, so our own destroyers fired multiple torpedoes into the Hornet. A lot of them didn't work, uh, but the Hornet still refused to go down. So the destroyers fired about 400 five-inch shells into the Hornet. Still, she wouldn't go down. By that time, there's a very powerful Japanese surface force approaching very close. So the two destroyers say they have to get out of there. So it's actually the Japanese who find the Hornet still afloat uh, after sundown on the 26th of October. Uh, and they contemplate trying to tow it back to Japan. Uh, they decide that she's too far gone, uh, and they fire four torpedoes into Hornet, which actually are, are what ultimately you know, sinks her. Paul Allen has said many times that it's, you know, it's important to uh, you know, preserve our past and honor you know, these, these uh, sailors and these soldiers that uh, you know, gave so much to their country. And so, you know, again, we're kind of doing the same thing here, is that we're, we're preserving our past, we're, we're uncovering history, and we're trying to Go. educate. Bridge, AUV descending. 